Hi, so today we're going to talk about using cloth nappies overnight. That's normally the last switch people make when they start to use cloth nappies. And it's also the last switch I made as well. It's quite understandable. Your baby's probably waking up enough overnight and the last thing you need is another excuse for them to wake up. So I started using cloth nappies on my baby from probably just before he turned two weeks um, on a part-time basis and then quite quickly took that up to full time. And he was six weeks old exactly when I put his first night nappy on him. I'd been really worried about doing this. I was worried he was going to wake up more, we were going to get leaks. But actually it worked really great for us and we haven't looked back since. So this video is going to show you what you're going to need in order to successfully cloth nappy at night. If you're going to cloth nappy overnight, you're almost certainly going to need a two-part system. That essentially just means you have an absorbent part of the nappy and then a waterproof layer that goes over the top. There's lots and lots of different options for both of these parts and this isn't designed to be a review. There's reviews on most of the products separately elsewhere on my channel. But we're just going to look at a few different options. So with shake nappies, they come in sort of two different options. You can get above the potty like this one, or you've got rise poppers so you can adjust the size. Or size nappies where if you're using the nappy from newborn, then you will need multiple different options to get you all the way up to potty training, so not quite so cost effective. One advantage of using size nappies though is, particularly if your baby's at the bigger end of the scale, especially as nighttime training tends to come a little bit later, is you can get bigger nappies. So this birth to potty is on its full length and it does still fit my baby, but this extra large one, as you can see, is just a little bit bigger, so this will last him a bit longer. In terms of the nappies themselves, there's loads of different options from the fabric. This one's cotton, this one's hemp, but you can also get bamboo. Both of these are popper fastening because that's what I prefer, but you can also get ones of Velcro or ones where you need a nappy nipper to fasten it. So have a little think about what your own preferences are when choosing. The most common flat is a terry square, which you'll probably recognise and certainly your parents will recognise, um, which can be folded in multiple different ways and I would suggest having a little look online at some different folds to suit your baby's needs. Um, they're all designed to put the absorbency in certain places so you can customise them and get what's really going to work well for you. Um, I tend to use this um, fold like this, which is pretty much the only one I know. This puts a lot of absorbency at the front between the legs, um, which is where I need it for my boy. And then a terry would be fastened with a nappy nipper such as this. The folds do look a little bit overwhelming to start with, but once you've done them a couple of times, I promise you they are really simple. Another option for flat is to get something like a pre-fold, which you then could just do a pad fold into a wrap. So that is literally just folding it into thirds and then line that in the wrap for the absorbent layer for your baby. This probably does have a little bit of less absorbency than using a terry though. So terries come in multiple different fabric choices as well. This one is cotton, that is the most common. You can also get bamboo and hemp terries. If you're looking for something a little bit more absorbent, that might be a way to go. So a wrap is simply the waterproof layer that goes over the top of your absorbent nappy so when the nappy is fully saturated it's not going to wet onto clothes. There are two options, you can either have a PUL which you're probably familiar with or a wool wrap as well. Um, I don't personally have experience of using wool so I won't talk about those but they are out there and there's lots of helpful advice online. So again with a PUL wrap there's multiple options, you can get, this is a sized wrap so this you'll need multiple of these again to get you from birth to potty and this is a proper fastening. Um, this is a different cover, so this one is birth to potty, you've got the rise poppers here. It's also popper fastening because I do prefer poppers for night. But you can get backward versions of wraps and if that's what you prefer then there's definitely a lot of good ones out there. It's also worth considering first what sort of absorbent part you'd like to use with your wrap. So a wrap like this, um, which is the Mothery's Airflow, will go over um, any of the shape nappies or over a terry as well. But it isn't very good for a pad fold. So a pad fold needs a wrap that's going to hold it tight against your baby. And because these are designed to fit really loose and baggy, this will just move around and you're going to get leaks. If you did want to pad fold something, then you are going to need a wrap that fits a bit snugger and is going to hold everything in place for you. So 
So let's talk boosters. You're almost certainly going to need a booster for your night napping. Um, I think hemp is the best. They are a bit more expensive than bamboo boosters, but particularly for night time, I just think they are worth the investment. This is an easy peasy hemp, which are my favourites. It's six layers of hemp and yet it's still really thin. So you can add multiple of these to your night nappy. For, I use a few different night nappies, but for one of them, I actually need three of these hemp boosters to get us through the night. So you really don't want something bulky. The great thing about boosters is they don't really sort of wear or age. So you should be able to pick them up pre-loved as well at a fairly reasonable price. And they will almost certainly last multiple children because there's kind of nothing that can go wrong with them. If you did need to bulk out your booster stash, maybe your baby is just going through a period of wetting a bit heavily. Um, I certainly had this around the four month regression time. He just started picking up extra fees in the night, which we hadn't been used to, and therefore we were having a lot of extra wetting. So I didn't necessarily want to go out and spend a lot of money on a whole new additional set of hemp boosters to get us through that period, when it was only going to be fairly short lived, hopefully. So a great way to add a bit more absorbency to your stash without having to spend a lot of money is to look for things you already have in the home. So a cotton flannel, such as this one, just a basic cotton flannel, that can be added as in a couple of extra layers of absorbency. Obviously it is a, li a little bit more thicker, certainly a lot more thicker than a hemp booster, but if you just need something just to get you through, then this is a great option. And another one is something you've almost certainly got in the house as well, which is just a normal muslin. I've used these as well, um, alongside my night nappies, as an extra layer of absorbency. Again, a little bit more bulky, but it does just get you through that period. And also a useful option if your hemp boosters or whatever boosters you're using aren't dry in time for night. So let's look at how we can use our boosters. Um, both of these nappies come with their own inserts. So this one's got a pop in one that you, you pop in the front. And this one has another one. I already put it in the pocket there, but a, a tongue that comes out. So they do already have some boosters. But if you wanted or needed to add more absorbency to the nappy, then you could take your booster and there's a few different options. You can stuff it into the pocket if it has a pocket. Um, this, this one does too, just there, because stuff that in there. Or another option is just to simply, or you can do this as well, if you do need extra absorbency, you might only get one into the pocket. But another option is you can lay the hemp booster outside of the nappy, and then you would cover it with your wrap. So the wrap would go over the top like this and the hemp booster is there. So I have a boy who's a tummy sleeper, so I always fold my boosters and put them in the front like that. But if you had a girl, you might like to lie it a bit more flat like that, so the absorbency is in the middle. But you'll find what works best for your baby. If you're using a flat system, then again, you've got the same sort of options. There are methods where you can do your fold and have a insert your booster into the fold. So in this one, I could lie that there. And then as I fold these bits over, my booster is all nicely tucked in. Or you could add your booster into the nappy here and then put your fleece liner on top. Or again, after you've fastened the nappy on, you could just add your booster on the front like that. So there's lots of different ways to add one or more boosters into a flat nappy as well. And then with the pre-fold, Again, you could lie a booster inside the pre-fold before you fold it over in your pad fold. Or again, once it is pad folded, you could add it on top and then pop your fleece liner to keep your baby dry on top of that. In terms of how many boosters you need, it does really depend on your baby and also which nappies you're using. So this shape nappy is hemp, so I only add one booster to that and then it has the, the pull-out tongue as well, but only one extra. And this one is cotton, so I use the cotton insert that comes with it. And then, as I said, I need another three hemp boosters to get me through the night on this one. But both work absolutely great. You just need to learn to adapt the absorbency to fit your baby's needs. If in doubt, I'd always add an extra booster and just see how it feels in the morning. If it's only slightly damp, then try it about the next time. If it's quite saturated, then it's a sign you'll need to keep it in and maybe even keep an eye on the situation as your baby grows, they are likely to wet more. So this probably does seem a bit overwhelming and like there's a lot of options out there, but the chances are if you're looking to cloth overnight, you're already doing so in the day. So you will already have your own preferences about things like fastenings, like whether you want to be folding toes or not, 
personal preference, wherever you want to or you want to use a shape nappy. And then if you are going to use a shape nappy, you probably already have a preference over Velcros or poppers. In terms of which fabrics to go for, again, that's personal preference. Um, cotton is the least absorbent, but it does absorb really fast and dries really fast. Bamboo is probably the second most absorbent, but really slow drying time. Hemp is the most absorbent. Um, it does go a bit crispy in hard water areas, um, and it tends to be blended with cotton as well, just to help keep a bit of softness. Um, it is more expensive, but it is the most absorbent. And then again, in terms of wraps, there are lots of options out there. But if once you've decided if you prefer poppers or velcro, that's already going to number it down significantly for you. After that, I decide if you want to have a look at size wraps or ones that will go from birth to potty. Some of that will depend on your baby's age. If they're fairly near potty training, maybe you're just swapping to night nappies and that's the only nappy they use. Then a size wrap isn't going to cost you any more than a birth to potty. And in some respects, you might even want to go down the size wrap route so you can get an extra large which birth to potty wraps don't always go quite as large as an extra large wrap. But if you're starting to cloth at night right for newborn, then you might find a birth to potty wrap is going to be a bit more of an economical choice for you. And of course, you can also look at wool as well, although those are sized, so you'll need multiple to go from birth to potty. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, please pop them in the comment box below. Otherwise, please like and subscribe for more content.